All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the bangs. Oh my goodness, you can see right there. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> I'm back with Hannah. Hi. We've been together for six years, as you know. You've seen her on my channel before. A great long lasting relationship. It is. So, what's going on with your hair? We're having a change, right? We are. We're going back to long hair. We're getting rid of the bangs. I'm sick of it. But they had their moment. They're done. No more bangs. They're done. No. Your bangs aren't banging no, no more. My bangs are not banging anymore. <laughs> we're growing it out. Yep. And we're changing your color today. Last time we did copper red for the first time and you loved it. And this time we're gonna go a little bit more cinnamony, pumpkin spice. Yes. I am so excited that we're going this route. Are I you ready? I'm so ready. New we, we, hair, we, new chapter of life. Well, do you wanna get started? Yes. Well, come over this way. Come on, let's go All mixing right. the colors. Okay, we're here. And we're gonna highlight your hair first. We're gonna do a highlight, a mid light, and a low light. Do you know what that is, Hannah? Yes. So your highlight would be the Lift Me Up Bright. And bright is the perfect color for anyone who needs like that warm golden blonde highlight or like yeah. a caramelized tone that isn't cool. Not everyone needs to be ashy. I say this over and over again. Look at those beautiful eyes. Your eyes are green. What's that tell you? Let's enhance it by making it pop. Okay, so we're gonna use Lift Me Up. And you can see that her natural level is a level six, which is very easy to lift. So we don't need much, right? We only need 10 volume for her hair for everything. So we're gonna measure. So we're gonna do 10 grams of Magnum 8. So the cool thing about Lift Me Up is because you mix it with a high brow, the lightener, or bleach, what happens is you will lift over previously colored hair. So even if she has previous colored hair here, it lifts over that. And that's the cool thing because it does it all in one step. Bright is the gold tone. So we're gonna do 14 grams. Always measure what you're working with. It's very crucial that you use a scale. So always measure so you get the consistent lift. The science is there for a reason, okay? So follow instructions. All right, so that's 14 grams of oil. So always remember 14 grams of the oil booster, 14 grams of the Lift Me Up toner, and 10 grams of Magnum Mate. I'm gonna put the chart right here next to Hannah. Screenshot this chart because you have three mixing options. You can print it and put it on your wall like you see here. Obviously, I chose the standard lift because we don't need much lift on Hannah. We're not trying to take her level 12 platinum. All right, so 40 grams of 10 volume. Always measure here. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna mix that right on up so you can see the oil booster with the bright toner with the developer and the Magnum 8 Power Line. You just whisk it on up. Trust the process, because this is gonna be a beautiful golden blonde. What you're gonna love about Lift Me Up is that the lift is very, very gentle. The hair retains health while you get like vibrant blonde highlights that look natural and feel so healthy. We've done this on you for quite some time, right? Yeah. When you stay consistent and do a good job and have communication with your client, the loyalty is there, don't you yeah. agree? Yeah. You have to go beyond acting like you care, but actually do care about your client. Okay? The thing is, there's too much acting going on these days, especially in Hollywood. Everyone is acting, everyone's putting on a show, but like, let's keep it real. Everyone thinks they're so cool. Yeah, you gotta actually care, not act like you care, you know? Caring is important. Well, even if you did go somewhere else, I wouldn't mind because we're in an open relationship. Are we? We haven't Not had yet. this conversation. We haven't had this conversation. Oh my God, this is intense. Are we in an open relationship? <laughs> I, <don't know> about. <laughs> I don't even know what I I'm... thought it was. A lot of people tend to feel like they have ownership over their clients. Yeah. I mean, I would always check with you first and if I really needed my hair done and you were too busy, that was the only time I would go. Thank you, I appreciate that. But even if you had- Which is why last time I went to, when last time you were busy, I went to Ariana. But... This is actually a serious conversation because as humans, we do feel insecure. You're like, am I not good enough? Mm -hmm. But luckily with me, it took a while, but finding confidence in yourself to go above that and feel like it's not always about that. Yeah, no, so, sometimes it's just about convenience yeah. or time. Don't take things too personal sometimes. Yeah. So we just make seven CRC with 10 volume as the midlight formula. The reason why I call this the midlight formula is because it's in the middle. It's not a low light because it's not darker than her natural hair, but then it's not a highlight because the highlight is the lift me up that I just mixed here, which is the lighter color. So it's in the middle, so it's called mid light because it's lighter than her natural, but not as dark as the low light we're doing. So it's in the middle. So that's why it's called mid light. So 7CRC is mid lighting. And then this one is gonna be low lighting, which is the Midnight Love 6 with 7CRC. Anytime you're introducing a cooler red or a cooler color, 
it's always gonna look darker. Since this is gonna be the darkest color in her formulation, this will be the low light formula. The Midnight Love 6 is gorgific. We're gonna mix it with a little bit of 7CRC here, half and half, so that way you get that fire. And I'll do 30 grams of Midnight Love 6 to 30 grams of 7CRC. 7CRC is the most beautiful copper you've ever experienced. We've always done cooler rose tone, but for the first time, we decided we're gonna go warm. All right, that's seven CRC equal parts of Midnight Love, and I'm gonna do 10 volume as well. So everything is 10 volume. That's why your hair is gonna be healthy. There's no aggression here. Okay, equal parts with 10 volume. This is the Midnight Love 6 here, and that's the seven CRC. We're gonna mix it together. And remember, oxidative color isn't what you see in the bowl. It develops while it's on the hair. So you're gonna whip that right on up. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of the Guy Tank Collagen Powder. Just like a little shirt. There you go. And then we're gonna squirt a little bit of the Olaplex number one. A little squirt it. Oop. And boom, it's in all the formulas now. Another thing I want to share with you is that with Lift Me Up, you can also use them as boosters. So the toners, you could add them into permanent or demi-permanent color to enhance the tone. This formula right here in front of me is the one with Midnight Love 6 and 7 CRC. Let's add a little bit of the rose toner into it. Just a little droop. There you go. So what we did was add a little bit of the rose tone into the CRC with the Midnight Love. So it has a little bit of that romantic, intimate feel to the tonality. Oh, we're festivating. All right, Hannah, it's time to color your hair. Let's go, come on. All right, so now that I'm here, I decide with the 7CRC mid-light formula, I'm gonna add in bright Lift Me Up toner as a booster, cause we can. This is gonna enhance the golden tones and the CRC. So not only is it fiery, but it lights up like the sun. Just like this, you're just gonna pour it in. Boop, that's all. It's gonna enhance the golden tones in it. And then we're gonna mix that right on up. So we're going to do the air touch technique because Hannah is growing out her hair. It is a situation when we're doing highlights sometimes when someone's growing out their hair because we always try to gravitate towards the money piece, the face framers. But what's going to happen is if you make this too blonde in the front, you're drawing attention to the bangs or the fringe area that's trying to grow out that is not quite there. So how do you create dimension while someone is trying to grow their hair out? So what we want to do is create dimension without having a focus or emphasis towards the money piece. The money piece comes in when the bangs or the fringe is a little bit longer down here so it frames the face and create that outline. But with the situation that we have here, imagine Hannah right now, if this was blonde and this was blonde, it would look almost like breakage. Like what happened here? Did her hair broke off? So you don't want that look. What you want right now is to create that dimension. So with that being said, we're gonna lower your head down so everyone can see what's going on. I'm gonna create a little diamond section on top of her head. You can see where her parting naturally wants to lay. It wants to split right here. So I want to create like a diamond. So going from this point, this would be the apex. So where the comb sits right there, that'll be considered the apex. You want to divide the hair in half there. And this is where you know where that triangle is going to lay right there. And go from this point into that point right there. So this will be considered the veil. This will fall over and the highlights will be underneath. So you won't highlight the top of the head. You want a veil as the base. So that way the hair stays dimensional. It still has the base color and you don't see stripes on top of the head. The veil will keep everything looking natural. So from this point here, you go into the back. So right here, you can see where the hair separates. A lot of us, we call this the cowlick area where the hair separates right here at that swirl. You don't want to put a highlight up here because what's going to happen is it looks like a sprout coming out from the top of the head. So you want to go from the back point and go right into that. You create this little triangular diamond shape right there. So you see that point? So your foil will go this way and then this this way, right? So this is where you'll divide it in half. You do this section and then this will be the front section. And then you repeat it right on over this way and you create a diamond on top of the head. Less is more sometimes. I feel like sometimes when we highlight someone's head, we think we need to highlight everything from the back to the top to the front and hit it really hard. So right here, I'm gonna twist this up out the way. You can see that triangular shape on top of the head. We're gonna twist this up and out the way and we're gonna take a clip. So we're gonna divide the parietal area out so we can now navigate that later. We're gonna start in the back because I want you to see how we're gonna do this. And the reason why I don't tend to start in the front 
is because what I find starting at the front is the hair around the hairline lightens really fast. I like to start in the back because if I need to pull out in the back for whatever reason, I can do that to shampoo bowl. We don't need to do that because we're doing lift me up and the lift is very gentle to the hair. So we're gonna divide this in half here in the back. We are gonna do the air touch. And the reason why we're choosing to do the air touch is because I'm gonna show you how dimensional we're gonna do this and how natural it's gonna look by doing the air touch technique. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is section the nape area out. We're gonna go at a diagonal back angle here. So you can see when I turn Hannah's head here, you can see there's a slope. And this is about a two inch block from where her baby hairs are down here. You don't want to highlight these little hairs. What I find is that everyone feels like we have to highlight these short hairs. Like, oh, just highlight all of this. It looks like breakage. I want to keep this area dark and highlight above it. So we're going to use the blow dryer. And as you can see, this panel is thin enough so you can see my hand right through it. So you take this panel, you hold the panel out flat, go in the blow dryer with the nozzle. This is very important. You start blowing the hair from that routage out and you just want to hold on to the ends so that way all the short pieces come out. You can see all the short hairs that we just blew out. So you see that? So the length of the short hairs here, this is the hair we're going to highlight. So that is quite a bit of short hair. So imagine if we were to highlight all of this, you'll see a stripe. So what I'm going to do now is take the long hair. We're going to clip this long hair up out the way. And now we are going to do a highlight mid light on the short hair. So I'll show you. We're going to do big chunky weaving like this. And then I'm gonna twist this up. I'm gonna clip that out the way. And now we are gonna do the low light right here. Grab your foil and put it on the board. So I'm gonna choose pink foils for the low light mid light so I get to separate them from the highlight. With the highlight, I'm gonna do a different foil uh, color so I can distinguish which one is which. And I'm going in with the low light formula. And this is the formula that has Midnight Love 6 with 7 CRC with 10 volume. This is to create that fiery dimension. We We've never gone this rich of red on her before, so this is gonna be very, very exciting. Now, you can fold this foil up once and then twice, so it doesn't hang in the way. So then I drop this next section here from the shorter strands, and this is gonna be the 7CRC formula with 10 volume, with a little bit of the bright, lift me up. Okay, so this is gonna be the 7CRC with 10 volume, with a little bit of the bright, lift me up toner. I'm gonna low light that right in. And if you want to fold the foil up with the board underneath, you can. So then you drop the next section here that you were holding on to. This is where your Lift Me Up highlight is gonna go. And the cool thing is, you can see her previous Lift Me Up highlights from like six months ago, it still looks beautiful. So even if we slightly overlap with the new Lift Me Up, the hair is in such healthy condition that it's gonna be able to take it because it's not like a bleach alone. All right, so this is the Guy Tang foil. This is gonna be the Lift Me Up formula. I'm gonna fold this over so it helps me distinguish which one has the Lift Me Up. If I also use lightener, I'll put the lightener on the foil first and then lay the hair on it, but with Lift Me Up, you'll see how easy it penetrates. Okay, so this is Lift Me Up Bright with 10 volume standard lift. You can see how beautiful the Lift Me Up goes on. What I love is a lot of times you'll even have to re-dip the formula because it spreads so well. And then you can just feather to brighten up those ends. You don't have to penetrate all the way through. So then we fold that up and out the way and repeat. All right, we're actually moving along pretty quick here. So this is actually very, very easy to do. Once you get the hang of doing the air touch technique, you realize how easy and fun it is. So again, you follow that same pattern, going parallel to that section. You wanna make sure you go right above it. I do about either an inch or half an inch skip between. So it depends on the density of the hair, how much hair they have in between, because you wanna leave enough base color. So get your blow dryer. Blow dry from the routage out. And you will see that what's very special about Hannah is she doesn't have much short hair pieces. Here's her short hair that we blew out, but look how much denser and thicker her long hair is. So as we move up, I'm starting to see that she has a lot more long hair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip the long hair up out the way. We're gonna do a complete low light underneath. This is gonna be the one of Midnight Love 6 with 7 CRC. So I'm switching over to the shorter foil board because I don't need the long foils here. So we are doing the pink rose gold foils. Lay the short hair right on that board. Okay, we're gonna go in with the low light. This is Midnight 
Midnight Love Six with seven CRC. I choose to do permanent color because permanent color will disrupt and lift her natural hair, also disrupting the melanin down here in her previously colored hair to give vibrancy. And because her hair is shorter, I'm not really concerned about overlapping of permanent colors. Okay, we're gonna fold that up. And now we're gonna go in with our midlight formula. Now, the first foil I did differently. I weave into the shorter strand. But what I realized is as I move up, because her hair, she has a lot of density in the length. If I highlight this all the way down, this is a lot of blonde. And I want to break up this blonde by weaving into the length. So we're gonna weave into this length like so. And then you could create the mid light down here. So we're gonna hold the hair out and do thicker panels. And we're gonna clip this up out the way and we're gonna mid light right beneath that. So here would be 7CRC with the 10 volume with the bright Lift Me Up toner. Okay, fold that up again once and twice. Okay, so right above this. Now it's time to unclip the section that we weave right above that. This is gonna be the Lift Me Up. Okay, so if you have not used Lift Me Up, what are you doing? Why are you not doing it? It will change your life because it cuts time in half, it lifts and tones, and you get to do colors like this without overlifting. Imagine if we're going in right now and using just bleach on her head. We will overlift, it'll become too light, too contrasting. You have to go back in and tone it down, and then it can take greenish gold that's too much okay you're still having vibrancy with lift me up bright so this is the bright look at that consistency it literally penetrates all the way through with ease and when you see the final results it's unbelievable because it looks natural and that's what makes it look super natural because it looks so natural seriously and to cut time in half sometimes if we could save time why not because time is really precious these days as we know and then that's the lift me up and you can see how easy that application was. I don't have to stress and feel like I have to apply too much pressure because the product just sinks right on in. Fold that over once, fold that over twice, just like that. And boom, I'm already up four sections with the highlight, low light, mid light. And look, I only have this small little section left, maybe two more and I'm done with that section. And then I'm gonna do this quadrant and then these two in the front and then I'm done. As easy as that. Process for 30 minutes and boom. So I'm gonna give a hand a little spin here. You can see how we fold up the back of our head. It seems like a lot of foils, but remember it's like three section per slice. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven slices per quadrant here. Here. So because that seven is multiplied by three because of the mid light and low light, it seems like a lot more foils. So you can see here through the side, I kind of work off of her hairline right here and I kind of pivot up. I left the veil out. Now, if you want to highlight the veil, you can. I want to show you how I did her fringe here because we cannot do the air touch on her fringe, her bangs. It's because there isn't enough length to blow out the short hair. So I have to weave everything. So I'll show you what I did here. I did about three slices here of course, you know, times three because of the mid light and low light. I want to make sure I have a veil here. So I'm gonna take a little thin slice, very thin slice, because you do need a base veil to fall over, right? So we're gonna clip this veil back and we're gonna take a thin slice right here. And we are gonna weave this slice because these highlights are very micronized. And this is gonna be the lift me up, right? Because these are micronized highlights. You can see here, if you get in close, you can see that they are very fine. So we are gonna go in with the lift me up right here and I do want to share that I have not remixed the lift me up I only did one mixture one mixture literally colored the whole head you see that I started in the back and I'm ending up here at the top but at the end lift me up lifts all evenly no matter where you start and that's the beauty of lift me up what I like to do is get the fine tooth comb comb the hair down so you could let the hair lay flat it's really important that the hair lays flat to the board and the foil so you get even distribution right in through there so I'm going to take that slice underneath that weave and you can see that this has like an under weave to it already because we have woven into the slice what I'm going to do is take this opportunity to create an ombre so I'm able to use both mid light and low light and one panel and create dimension so you can see right here you can see that one panel where all of the woven pieces were put in so I'm going to take the first formula here this is the one with the midnight love six with seven CRC and leave the ends out a little bit and then the ends are going to be primarily the seven CRC so that way you get both formulas in you're ombreing it through with 
the formula. So remember, I got two bowls here, and this is the one with midnight love six. This is the one with only seven CRC. And remember, the seven CRC has the bright, this one has the rose in it. And you can see the two distinctive tones. This one has a little bit more orange in it, and this one has a little bit more red. So we're creating like a seamless dimension because it's tone on tone, it's gonna blend regardless. So now you can choose to fold it up because the hair is so short, you can fold the fold up and they won't overlap each other. Now it's the time to mix the base color. I am excited to do this color on you. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're gonna use Twilight Dream 7. And this is a swap. This is a brown gold base with a little bit of copper tone. We're gonna mix it with Naked Glow 9 because we don't want her hair to be too dark. So to kind of shear it out, we're gonna mix it equal parts. And we're gonna put in a little bit of 7CRC to give it a little bit of that pumpkin flavor. We put in Naked Glow 9. Naked Glow 9 has a nice gold beige tone. It's beautiful, it's like a blush beige. It has like that fleshy tone, but it's gold. So it looks like the flesh of your skin. And it's just perfectly balanced. It's like a beige gold. Who doesn't want that. Now we're gonna squeeze in Twilight Dream 7. When I get a little excited, I get a little bit like this. <laughs> okay, Twilight Dream 7, equal parts. Okay, we're going deep. So now we're gonna introduce our 7CRC. So this is where we have that pumpkin spice coming in. So the more 7CRC you put in, the more copper it's gonna become. Well, we're gonna squeeze it out right now. Look at this, Woo! It's 30 grams of 7CRC, 55 grams of Naked Glow 9, 55 grams of Twilight Dream 7, equal parts with 135 grams of 10 volume. <laughs> so look at all this color. Okay, I'm going to put this on her routage into her mids and as I get to the ends, I'm going to add more Naked Glow into the same bowl to shear it out so it's lighter and run it through. So what's going to happen is it's going to be a lighter version of itself so that way it almost like ombres through so it's not like a solid block. Right, we're going to whip this up and we're going to put it in your hair. You ready? Right. Yeah, let's go. go. Alright, here we go. Twilight Dream 7 is going in with that naked glow. We're gonna put it on the routage here. Now I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna to put it on that routage first before I start swiping it out to the mid shaft. It's easier when I'm able to lay it down and then start spreading the hair out. And you can see how the top has open, easy access for you to lay the color right on. And you can see this is where the veil is. So this veil plays a huge role, how it fuses everything together. Because remember, you don't have to highlight everything on the head. Now, I have known Hannah for quite some time. I met her as a model. She was the face of my identity campaign right from the start representing the rose gold color. And the most important thing is over time we both evolved so much. I've seen her grown. You've seen me grown. I know a... I have. <laughs> Even I was just showing you that picture of us from six years ago and it's like so cute. It's crazy. Isn't it crazy that like how important is evolving and growing together? Because a lot of times people grow apart as time goes by. Have you noticed that? They do. Your friendship circle changed, your life changed, so then often the people you thought where your friends aren't your friends anymore. If you're not growing, like you're, you're staying stagnant, you're dying. Yeah, then you lose your passion when everything stays the same. You know, sometimes what happens is we work so hard to get this title that we wanted, whether you're wanting to be an influencer or a job title, whatever the case may be, sometimes that title that you work so hard for can end up being the title that boxes you in. Am I right? It's so easy to just get put into a box. But as humans, I feel like we have so many passions. There's, And you should have several different passions, you know, to keep you interested and different things to do. And even as you grow and like as a person, you might find that you like doing other things more and it's never too late to start over or change or do something different. So Hannah, I want to know how you feel if someone says stick to modeling. I mean, I don't think that's anyone's place to tell me what to do for the rest of my life. And I have the freedom to do whatever I want. If I wanted to do that for the rest of my life, I could. But if I want to explore different passions and different interests of mine, that's just okay too. And anyone who's a real good person in my life is going to support me through everything. I always find it so offensive and condescending when people say stick to this. They're not trying to help you. They're really trying to limit you and box you in and belittle you, right? I love seeing people try new things and explore different passions. Like you can see that fire and light in their eyes. And it's like so fun, like, you know, just being there and, you know, being supportive of the people in your life through all of their changes and all their passions and all the different things they do. For me, as a hairstylist, you know, everyone loves that I do hair and I love doing hair. But at the same time, I love so many other things. I feel like people don't really know who I really am sometimes because they only 
only know me with my job title or who I am through my presentation. And that goes for everyone. I mean, I feel like everyone can relate to that where people look at them just as their job title. I feel like we should be defined by our passion and what we choose to represent. Because it's not just I love doing hair. You know, when I start putting my music out there, because music is very personal to me because I write the lyrics and I project these words into emotion with my song. And then people, you know, in the beginning, they would say stuff like, stick to hair. I was like, that's not a compliment. You're not saying it to be helpful. People who say that, they're saying it to be an ass. Do whatever you want. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. Why does it bother other people you're doing something else that you're passionate about? Yeah, God forbid I follow my passion. It's very important that we allow people and celebrate people through their evolution. If you love someone, you don't constrict them. You don't hold them back. When you love someone, you set them free. So some of these people will tell me, I love you, Guy, but I love it when you do hair. How about you love it when I'm happy? How about yeah, you love it when you see you. <laughs> Exactly. I was happy to see you do music because every time you would do my hair, you were always singing. Right? It's so fun to watch you like pursue that. So when you met me, you always saw me sing. Always, you would be like just walking around singing. And I was like, okay. Like, so, and then when you said you're coming out with music, I was like, yeah, you should. Like, and that's who I want to surround myself with. And that's why you're still in my chair. <laughs> Sometimes it's our own people that are putting each other down. And what's really important for us is that we need to lift each other up, like lift me up. We need to elevate each other as a community to represent. All right, we're gonna apply to start her mids, and then we are gonna add more naked glow into the ends formula and be right back. All right, so you can see that I finished applying her base color from her rutage to her mid shaft. And you can see how I left her ends out right there. So you can see that there's still color left in my bowl. So this is the color that was on her head. Now I'm gonna shear out this formula by adding more naked glow nine to the formula. So by adding a little bit more naked glow, you're lightening the deposit on the ends so it doesn't look so dark and muddy sometimes because sometimes the ends can grab the color more darker because it's more porous. So we are going to do 25 grams of Naked Glow 9 here and then because the ends does have absence of copper I'm going to add a little bit more copper into the ends so that way it retains its vibrancy and doesn't look dull. So this is where we're going to add 5 grams of 7CRC so that way it pops just a little bit on the ends. And of course after you're adding the color into the remaining color in a bowl you also want to mix in the dedicate 10 bomb developer so that way it balance out everything all right gotta grab the olaplex and guy 10 collagen powder her hair is still very healthy but always keep in mind that the ends are a little bit older so we're gonna mix this right on up you can see that i'm running the color through her ends but i'm not just applying it only on her tips i'm literally kind of stroking the product up to merge and blend it down so that's the secret here make sure to keep the product moving blend it you see the tips hanging out don't be afraid to overlap on top because that's what creates that transition blend. Well, now we're going to process for 30 minutes and we will return. All right, ready or not, we are going to rinse your color. <laughs> I cannot wait to see it. I'm going to rinse your base color first. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Of course, when the hair is wet, it looks a lot darker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out all the rose gold foil because those are the ones with the permanent color on them. And the reason why is because I find that when you leave the lift me up foils in, it doesn't leave any room for contamination. You don't want any of the, the darker red colors to contaminate the lighter foils because that can happen just because like the darker pigmented hair would want to bleed into the lighter ones. Let's hold the foils so there's no slippage and then go into the next section, hold the foils just like so and pull the rose gold foils as you see. And this is the, the cool thing is that because when you do the double fold, it anchors the foil and so it doesn't slip. So you're able to lift the foil up and it gives you access to rinse the base and then pull all of the rose gold foils. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the bangs. Oh my goodness, you can see right there. Look how beautiful that is. That's gonna look so beautiful next to her red face. What I like to do is immediately put Olaplex number two right over the top because it locks the color in as well as repair the hair. You can see the dimension. <gasps> oh, that looks so pretty. The cool thing about Lift Me Up is that it retains that warmth that you need. You see that? Look at that warmth and that blonde. So it looks beautiful next to the red base. You can see here in contrast, look at that ribbon of blonde highlight. Pull, rinse. Pull, rinse, pull, rinse. Honestly, I'm glad the world is moving away from only ash for the last decade. And now that we're finally celebrating warmth, it's so much healthier and so much fun. 
Okay, we're gonna use the Guy Tang Mike Confidant Color Securing Shampoo, which you love. I love, <laughs> I've been only using that since you came out with it. First of all, it smells amazing. Like, even if I'm out without any perfume on, people are like, oh my God, you smell so good. I'm like, thanks, it's my hair. But, and, and it's just hair? so clean, like it makes my hair so clean. All right, and now we're gonna spray My Hero X2 Collagen Spray. Cuticle Sealer, this is the Cuticle Sealer and hair softening treatment is beautiful. It's gonna make the hair feel so soft on contact. All right, so while this is marinating on her hair, we're gonna pump in the My Comnot Color Securing Conditioner. So we're gonna do a couple pumps, massage it through your hands, and you will overlay the conditioner over the X2. We are gonna bring you over the chair and we're gonna blow dry you. You ready? Yes, I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited, Hannah. We are gonna take this opportunity to spray the Guy Tang My Identity My Hero Collagen Shield spray. This spray is everything. Spray mids to ends. Less is more. It makes the hair feel so soft. It detangles the hair. So after you spray it on the hair, you want to brush it through and blow dry because it protects the hair from heat as well, which helps prolong the color that we just did. So definitely check it out. My Hero Collagen Shield Spray is everything. So what are you waiting for? Just go get it. Ready. I'm so ready. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> This is my favorite color on you by far. This is my favorite we've ever done. I say that every video, but I'm serious. It gets better <laughs> it just and better. It's getting better and better every time. And you know what it is? It's that Twilight Dream, give it that richness. It looks so healthy. It's like cherry esque and Ugh. pumpkin spice and cinnamon spice. All Everything. At the same time. All the goodies. Uh, and you know what? Like when I stroke your hair, no matter where I massage it and stroke it, you see all the dimension pop out from all the corners. So much dimension. So much dimension. No matter how I stroke your hair, you don't see that demarcation line. You don't see the stripe. It's almost like the colors just kind of woven in together so well with that air touch technique. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, follow both me and Hannah on Instagram, and check out mydaddycolor.com where you can place your order on cosmoprofbeauty.com and Solanery. So I thank you much and I will end it with one of my music video trailers. Bye bye. Bye. You are now tuned into the sound of God Tank. Get like this.